dear friend, by now you know that I have a seven inch cancerous tumor in my left femur. When I first heard the diagnosis, I sat on the stoop, telephoned Linda, and wept. I stumbled home, lay down on my bed, and imagined all the ways my life would change. Then Eden and Tyvee came running in. They twirled frantically in a circle, going faster and faster until they tumbled to the ground, laughing with all the glee in the world. I crumbled. I kept imagining all the walks I might not take with them, the ballet recitals I might not see, the aisles I might not walk down. Through it all, I kept thinking that I would be fine. I also thought Linda would be fine, that she'd still find a way to live a life of passion and joy. But I kept coming back to Tybee and Eden, and how difficult life might be for them. Would they yearn for my approval, my discipline, my love, my voice? A few days later, I awoke before dawn and thought of a way I might help give them my voice. I would reach out to six men from all passages of my life. These are the men who know me best, men who've traveled with me, studied with me, been through pain and happiness with me, men who know my voice. That morning, I began composing this letter. I believe my daughters will have plenty of opportunities in their lives. They'll have loving families, they'll have each other. But they may not have me. They may not have their dad. Will you help be their dad? Will you listen in on them? Will you answer their questions? Will you watch their ballet moves for the umpteenth time? And as time passes, will you give them advice? Will you be tough as I would be? Will you introduce them to someone who might help one of their dreams come true? Will you tell them how proud I would be? Will you be my voice? And as I lay on my bed that morning, I said to myself that I would call this group of men the Council of Dads. Collectively, they might have fathered my potentially fatherless daughters. Naturally, I hope that I will recover. But I would like my counsel to continue. I would like my daughters to know the world through all of you. I would like Eden and Tybee to know themselves through their council of dads. And above all, I've taken great comfort in knowing that this assembly of men can, if needed, be me.